Okay. When you're in Google, I'm going to create a website. I click create. And I'm going to select a template where you can browse the gallery for more. I'm going to select classroom website. I'm going to name my site. And I'm going to name it EDUC or Web Mastering. I think instead. And I want you to name your site by your name so I can keep up with you. I don't know whose is whose. And then I can select the theme. There's some more options. I want you to check those out, see what you think about those. But there's lots of themes in here. You may not like the standard default theme. You can give your site a description and some more information there under more options. And then you have to type in the code that you see. So I'm going to type in the code that I see and I'm going to name it and click on it. And it's coming back and it says that location that I'm trying is not available, so I'm going to add a number to it. And try it again, see if that works. That one's not available either. So I think I'm going to name it something else. I think I'm going to try it as WBU Webmastering. Create the website. Again, that location is not available. I'm going to shorten it and try that. Oh, there it is. That one was available. Then once I'm here, then I can, can begin to edit the page. And this is pretty much trial and error, probably. You can go in there, but it's pr all pretty straightforward. If I want to edit the page, I click here. And right now, all I want you to create is the very first home page. We'll add more pages as we go throughout the quarter. But right now, I'm just going to go in there and edit this page. So I can edit the page, and I can click on that. It loads the editor. And once I load the editor, I can go in there, and I can take out things. I can add things to it. For example, if I want to take out that picture or take out the recent announcements or the student of the month, I can select those things and then delete them. Right there you see a menu comes up, so like the recent announcements, I can just delete that if I don't want those in there. Hit delete. Now the word of the week is there. I may keep the word of the week. That's kind of interesting. And this information that's over here on the left hand side is the bar. In the edit the sidebar, you come over here to the bottom and you'll see edit sidebar. So I can click on edit sidebar. And then I can come over here and then I can go through that. So like edit the text. I can click on there. That's obviously not a picture of me. So I may want to click on that picture and delete it. And then I may want to go ahead and insert a different picture. So I go in there and I tell it that I want to insert image right there select image and then I'm gonna upload an image so I'm gonna choose a file so I can upload any image you want to use JPEGs and you want to use small pictures I would suggest I would crop them down to just the size you need so I'm gonna go and see if I can find a picture that I think that might work I don't see one right now, but I'm going to just pick one of the sample pictures. I know they're too big. But all these sample pictures will be way too large, so I may not pick those. But I'm gonna, what you 